Hi friends, how are you doing today? I have been getting a lot of questions about what the difference is between overeating and binge eating and even just normal binges. So today I thought we would go over what the differences are between standard overeating, a regular binge, and binge eating disorder binges. Um, now there is going to be some technicalities thrown in here, so please forgive me if I come off robotic in some of those sort of statements. I just want to be very clear because I, I, first of all, I'm not a medical professional. If you feel that you are suffering from an eating disorder, please seek medical professional who can help you. There is help out there. You don't have to suffer alone. You really don't. If you want just a friend to talk to, you just need to feel heard, by all means, reach out. I'm here. But I am not a doctor. <clears throat> I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a nutritionist. I am not the help that you need. I can be the shoulder to lean on. I can be the ear to hear. And I can be, you know, somebody who's there for you to laugh and cry and scream with you. But I'm not a medical professional, so please understand that. If you find yourself wondering, what is binge eating? Know that you are not alone. You really aren't. It can be really confusing to know what the differences are. So let's go over a little bit of it today. Binge eating is defined as reoccurring episodes of eating significantly more food in a very short period of time than most people would under similar circumstances with episodes marked by feelings of lack of control. Also, men and women alike will struggle with feelings of guilt, disgust, embarrassment, and they will often try to eat alone so that they can hide the amount of food that they're eating and really just be alone in their shame and they're alone in their emotions because it is very emotionally driven. It is very mentally exhausting to go through. Um, there also isn't any purging involved. You just don't do anything to negate what you, what, what just happened. Now, in order for the diagnosis of binge eating disorder uh, to be given to you, the following three symptoms must be present. There must be distress over the binging episodes, a loss of control over the amount of eating, and you must have at least one occurrence of these episodes a week for three months or more. Plus, you'll have three or more of the following symptoms, eating until uncomfortably full, eating more rapidly than normal, feeling disgusted, depressed, guilty uh, with yourself after overeating episodes, eating alone due to the embarrassment of how much will be eaten, and eating large amounts of food, even though you are not hungry. So ultimately, even if you find yourself overeating to the point of excess on certain occasions, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have BD or binge eating disorder. It will mostly boil down to how frequently you binge, whether you lose control and you feel like you can't stop, and how you feel during and after said binge. If you go to a birthday party or a wedding, an anniversary, and you eat your food and you feel fine, you're full, you're good, and then the cake comes out and you're like, sure, why not? We're at a, we're at a birthday, I'm gonna have a piece of cake. You have the cake and you feel no guilt, you feel no nothing, you feel great, you are just celebrating and having a great time. Although you, were full and you were not hungry and you still had a piece of dessert and you might feel a little uncomfortable physically, you mentally feel fine. If you were at said party, you ate until you felt full, then the cake comes out and you say, okay, and you eat the cake and maybe have three or four or five pieces of cake. And there's also other desserts that you also consume. You don't feel good physically, you feel sick, you feel like you can't stop and you just sort of are eating everything that you can possibly find and you have tremendous amounts of guilt or shame, disgust with yourself, embarrassment over who might have seen you eating these things, that is likely a binge. Now if you have those episodes, one 
time a week for three months or more, at least, well, at least one time a week for three months or more, you might be looking at having, you know, to seek medical attention for a, a binge eating disorder. I do hope that that helped cleared up a lot of things. Um, again, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I am here to be an ear to you. Even though I am not a medical professional and I'm not here to diagnose you, I will never tell you, yes, this is this, no, this is not, because that is not what I do. However, I can be your friend. I can listen. I can be understanding and be empathetic because I've been there. So I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you soon. Bye.